Hey guys, I know most of you are not South African, but I thought I'd give you a quick update in what's happening in my home country. For those of you who don't know, South Africa has been blessed in the past with two amazing leaders, uh, Mandela and Thabo Mbeki. They were great guys. But unfortunately, we've now got Jacob Zuma. And I'm going to be going through some cartoons and you can just see this is what the media and everybody kind of feels about him. Mandela was this massive hero and Zuma... Yo, the public doesn't have a very good opinion of Zuma. He, they say he lacks leadership and there's a lot of yo, terrible corruption and terrible things that he's done. There's also some weird relationship that he has with Russia and very controversial. There's been this nuclear deal that's been signed through which wasn't supposed to happen. So people are upset about that. And a lot of people believe that this man over here is actually the president of South Africa. He's one of the Guptas and the media believes that the Guptas basically own the president. As you can see in the cartoons, they're buying different government officials. Um, what Zuma has done in the past, back in 2015, was that he fired our financial minister and that, that caused a lot of chaos. You can see some people think that it was a 500 billion uh, blunder, which is huge. Fortunately, a few days later, South Africa got back Praveen Gordon, who was kind of like our savior. He was a financial minister and he was going to come and save our economy. As you can see in the cartoons, Zuma's busy drowning the boat and Praveen's busy saving it. Uh, he's coming in, cutting government spending. And I don't know what is actually happening in this cartoon, but it looked pretty cool. You can see he's kind of like fighting the problem. Um, they even show him here, he saved us from getting a down uh, grade rating last year. Where you can see he went and he rest assured, um, you know, overseas and foreign investors in the budget speech. He, but oh yeah, sorry. So that's that's kind of where it went a little bit haywire. Is he started seeing or uncovering all the things Zuma was doing, and he kind of like de not declared war on Zuma, but there was a lot of tension between Jacob Zuma, our president, and Praveen Gordon, our, our financial minister, and a lot of the ANC started backing Praveen Gordon, who kind of you know showed this this way of uh, you know we don't have to be corrupt and all this type of stuff, but then. <laughs> Um, Zuma was very unhappy with this and they basically fired him again. So they fired Praveen Gordon, um, they blamed it on white monopoly capital and this kind of caused a bit of a free fall in our credit rating and our uh, currency exchange. But just to come look at a little bit of South African economic data, what is very scary is that while Jacob Zuma has been in power, you can see our real GDP per capita, it's actually, it's actually negative. The, the country is you know, contracting on a per capita basis. Also, very, very scary is our unemployment rate is going through the roof. And what's, I mean, the media, the media has kind of you know, escalated this a lot with a whole junk status and they, they have caused a lot of fear in the, the local communities and people are very worried about our, our junk status. I did though put on the Facebook page that I do think that the whole junk status is a little bit, you know, over exaggerated, but no doubt about it, it is having a massive effect on our local currency, which is already very much devalued and undervalued. So it's just causing more pressure on a very weak currency. And what's happened is that in South Africa, we've now, before it's always been dominated by the ANC, but now we have a few other political parties that are starting to, to gain ground. And the reason why they're gaining ground is because there's a lot of infighting with the ANC and there's a lot of corruption and people are getting very upset. So people are protesting around the country today and the whole thing is that Zuma must fall. The people are tired of his corruption charges. They're tired of the fact that he's running the economy down. They're tired of the fact that he doesn't care about the local people and that he hasn't cared about um, you know, jobs and all that type of stuff. So we are seeing a motion of no confidence. So in Parliament, um, they are going to be voting against Jacob Zuma. They're going to try and get him out of South Africa, which I think, I mean, time is due. South Africa, we do have some, some cool leaders coming up. I, I mean, Trevor Noah is a, is a great guy representing us in America, which I think most of you know about him. But essentially, South Africans are protesting against Jacob Zuma. And the best thing for South Africa 
would be for us to get a brilliant leader in the ANC, which is they're going to be deciding the new leadership at the end of this year. So all our prayers and thoughts are on the ANC getting an honest and true leader that can just lead South Africa in the way going forward. But that's just a quick little update on what's happening in South Africa. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks, guys. Cheers.